working the IC705 with the Zygu Shagu X125B amplifier. We are at the hunting lease for the ARRL DX single si International DX single sideband contest. I've got the Buddy Hex set up right there. Hopefully you can see it. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> There's a Buddy Hex set up. We are operating today on Saturday. We got here yesterday. The DX contest started uh, at 6 p.m. Texas time last night, and it was cold. It, it was it was windy and rainy, and it was just kind of like crummy weather when we got here. So I didn't set up the antenna until this morning. When we woke up this morning. The skies were clear. It was not wet at all, and uh, and by the time uh, 10 a.m. got here, it was nice and sunny. And it was, it's gotten a bit warm today also. So we've had an excellent day set up with no wind and the Buddy Hex in the air. And we made a lot of contacts in South America, a lot of contacts in Europe. And we're operating very uh, laid back. We're not, we're not, uh, we're just basically operating one station today. But we've pretty much done all of our contacts on the IC705 running the X20, uh, X125B amplifier. And it's kicking out, um, we did 20, 20 meters was really full and kind of hard to break some pileups. We broke into a few pileups, made some contacts there, but then we dropped down to 15 meters. We noticed some 15 meter activity. Wow, uh, South America was lit up on 15 meters. Almost every station we called on 15 meters came back to us uh, the first time. We, uh, the amp with the, with the good SWR on the hex beam, the amp was pushing between 100 and 110 watts on 15 meters and we've had a really good time with it. So today, today I'm going to show you how we have this set up because this could be a duplicated effort very easily and I think that uh, I think it, it's going to work well for future activations as well. So let's take a look at this real quick. Still on 15 meters with the uh, the 705 there obviously and the way and there's the amp behind it right there. And come around to the back side So right there, the trick is to get this cable right here, which has the modular pin for the ACC in the back of the 125B. Got this round plug in it. And this goes into the ALC plug on the back, or on the side rather, of the 705. Right here. Right above the, uh, the tuner. Don't need a tuner today because the hex beam is resonant on six different bands, only two of which we use today. We tried to do some 10 meters earlier and there's nobody really on 10 meters. So that plug, this cable right here is what you need to make this work properly. And I put, I'll put a link in the description below for where I got it. I believe I got it on eBay. It might have been Amazon, but wherever it was, I don't remember. But I'll look it up and have the link in the description below. And then, of course, I've got the... This is just the, the power coming out of the, the amp, and we've got a jumper running from here to the radio. And this is the antenna to, to the antenna, obviously, right there with that one. But that's all you need is just the one cable. The band, it doesn't do automatic band switching when you switch bands with the 705 like it does when you have it uh, connected to the G90. I did a POTA video on the G90 with the X, uh, X125B amplifier, and it worked great. But that does not happen with the... 705 that it doesn't know how to read it i guess there might be a way to configure that with the alc in the back but i'm not sure so if we see the the amp right there you can see it's on manual 15 meters right there and the atu is off the rx but if we if we key up here let me move off frequency so i don't interfere with that guy this is 15 meters we're running at about 50 percent power on the 705 and if I key up is this frequency in use is this frequency in use from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo so it's running a little bit high SWR there on the left you can see that and then it's um, it's coming up uh, to you know about 90 ish watts right now is this frequency in use is this frequency in use from Kilo Charlie 5 Hotel Whiskey Bravo but that is what you need to to run that and it's worked very well so swr maybe is a bit high um it was not high this morning but you know that some stuff has changed with the uh 
with the wind. I mean, there's a there's a slight breeze. It's not windy, windy like it was at Winter Field Day, but uh, you know, it, SWR can change, and as the sun moves around and your ground conditions and whatnot. And if I took that ladder out from underneath the antenna, it might help. <laughs> but we were getting a flat SWR earlier when we were making contacts about two hours ago. Well, I moved over in the shade to get rid of the glare on the amp screen. CQ contest, CQ contest, Kilo number uh, five, Tango if, Radio. If you can. Yeah. Things on auto dial. I don't need to do anything on the radio. CQ contest, CQ contest, Kilo November five, Tango Radio. How's that? Mm-hmm. Good. CQ contest, CQ contest, Kilo November 5, Tango Radio. Let's <laughs> jump between like 45 and 91 watts. Yeah, I was watching the modulation. I turned up the TX level on it. CQ contest, oh, did you? CQ contest, okay. mm -hmm. Kilo November 5, Tango Radio. That was 97, peak at 97 there. Yeah, but it, the default contest, TX level contest, is 50%. 5, if I put it back down there, I don't think it gets above much more about 40 watts. CQ contest, CQ contest, yeah. Kilo oh, yeah. five, Tango Radio. Okay. So I just cranked up the TX level. Okay. To modulate it a little bit more and it seems to be working. Good. CQ contest, CQ contest. Oh, yeah, 103 there. Radio. Good. CQ contest, CQ contest, Kilo November 5, Tango Radio. There were two or three stations that, was, that were CQ calling contest, CQ that CQ I couldn't contest, get back to. Kilo November 5, Tango Radio. Might have to dial that down. It looks like it's doing increasing the RF output on it. It's uh, CQ contest, CQ contest, I saw it dump Kilo seven watts into that amp, radio. Oh. and it's only rated for five. So, yeah, on the input. CQ contest, CQ contest, Kilo November five, Tango Radio. There you go. I'm surprised it's only rated for five, being that it's totally compatible with the G90. CQ contest, uh, I, CQ honestly, contest, I think they made Kilo it more for the 5105, which is a five watt radio. Yeah. Because if you look at the front of that 125, I mean, it, it looks like it CQ matches contest, with the 5105. Right. Yeah, yeah, it does. You're right. Yeah, that's better. Now I'm seeing a peak of about three and a half, and it's putting out about 100 watts. So I think we're good. CQ contest, CQ well, the amp contest, came out right, right, five, right about Tango the time radio. the 5105 came out. They were kind of matched together. Oh, the amp been out that long? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They had trouble with it at first. Contest, they had to recall. I mean, I don't know if they recalled it, but they. MFJ was telling me they sent a bunch of amps back because they they were getting customer complaints. Yeah. Uh, but that was this is the second generation, so it's, it's fine. I've, that's, I've had zero trouble. With that's the B model, right? Yeah. yeah. So that is how we've been operating pretty much for this whole contest with just one radio and one amplifier running between 80 and 110 watts depending on where it was. Additionally, I will show you the fact that we have been operating from all off-grid power thanks to BioNO. So check this out. Been operating the BioNO solar panels. Uh, the one on the left, the one on the the foldout on the the right there is a 40 watt, and then this big guy on the back here, I believe this is a 60 watt, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I might put a overlay here if I'm wrong. And I've got two BioNO batteries right here. This is a 20 amp hour, and this is a 15 amp hour, and each one has its own solar uh, solar controller. This is the Buddy Pole Power Mini, and this is the uh, the BioNO solar charge controller that that uh, that was sent to me by BioNO themselves when they sent me the the batteries and the, and the solar power. So this one right here is connected to the 40 watt in the shadow right there, the big the the smaller 40 watt panel right now, and it's just charging that battery. It doesn't have anything hooked to it at this moment in time. This 20 amp hour is connected to the larger solar panel and it's been running both the 705 and the X20, X125B amplifier all day long. And we haven't had any problems with it at all. Of course, we're running sideband, so it's not like it's a full duty cycle. But we can see there if we put the... Kind of dark in the camera, I don't know if you can see that or not, but... Currently, it's looking like it's uh, the solar panel is drawing about 13.9 volts, and the battery itself is at 13.78 volts. And it's been working like a champ all day long, and uh, most of that is thanks to the great sun we've been having out here. So that is what we've been doing for this contest weekend. It's worked very well, and guess what? We're going to use that again because that's just a great setup, both with the hex beam from Buddy Pole, the Power Mini from Buddy Pole, the BioNO batteries, and the uh, IC705, and the X20, X1, I keep saying that wrong, X125B amplifier 
pushing between 80 and 110 watts, depending on what band you're on. So we've used it on 15 and 20, and it's worked great. So let me know what you think in the comments.